Welcome to our Stock Market Briefing program. Today, we're seeing an optimistic outlook for the ASX as it gears up to rise on the back of Wall Street's positive sentiment, buoyed by strong jobs data and a surge in AI stocks. Plus, with metal prices climbing due to fresh stimulus measures from China, it's a promising time for investors looking for opportunities. In other news, OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman is in the spotlight as discussions about granting him a 7% equity stake could lead to a whopping $15 billion bonanza. However, the company is navigating through leadership changes and instability, with a recent high-profile exit raising eyebrows. As OpenAI aims for a $150 billion valuation, the stakes are high for Altman and the future direction of the company. Lastly, we dive into the implications of Donald Trump's proposed tariffs on foreign goods. A new study warns that these policies could hurt the U.S. economy, potentially leading to job losses and higher inflation. While Trump pushes for a manufacturing revival, experts are raising red flags about the long-term impacts. Stay tuned as we explore these topics in detail. Australian Broadcasting Corporation reports that the Australian stock market is expected to open higher, buoyed by Wall Street's optimism following strong job data and a surge in artificial intelligence stocks. This upbeat sentiment is complemented by a significant increase in metal prices, driven by recent stimulus measures announced in China. Investors are keenly watching the financial landscape, with insights provided by expert business reporters on a live blog. The Sydney Morning Herald highlights a pivotal moment for OpenAI as CEO Sam Altman is in discussions to receive a 7% equity stake in the company, marking a significant shift towards a for-profit model. This potential change comes amid a backdrop of senior management departures, including the recent exit of Chief Technology Officer Mira Marathi, which has left employees in shock. Altman reassured that these departures are unrelated to the restructuring, emphasizing that they are simply part of individuals seeking new opportunities. OpenAI, founded in 2015 with a mission to create beneficial AI, is now navigating the complexities of profitability while retaining its foundational ideals. South China Morning Post examines the implications of Donald Trump's proposed tariffs on China, which he claims will revive American manufacturing. However, a recent study from the Peterson Institute for International Economics warns that such policies could lead to negative consequences for the U.S. economy, including weakened growth, higher inflation, and job losses. The report outlines two scenarios, one with minimal retaliation and another with significant international pushback, both resulting in substantial economic decline. As Trump campaigns on a promise of protectionism, Vice President Kamala Harris counters with a focus on pragmatic economic solutions, highlighting a stark contrast in their approaches to trade and economic policy. The Sydney Morning Herald reports that U.S. financial markets are experiencing a positive surge, with the S&P 500 flirting with record highs and the Dow Jones gaining 281 points. Notably, Micron Technology saw a remarkable 14% increase in its stock after reporting stronger-than-expected profits, driven by sales and artificial intelligence. However, the gains were tempered by declining oil prices, as reports indicated Saudi Arabia might abandon its price target for crude oil, leading to a drop in stocks like ExxonMobil. Meanwhile, overseas markets reacted positively to China's efforts to bolster its economy, with hopes for more proactive measures following earlier announcements from the central bank. According to the New York Times, a recent analysis from the Peterson Institute for International Economics indicates that former President Donald Trump's proposed economic policies could lead to reduced growth and increased inflation in the United States. Trump's plans to deport millions of migrants and impose hefty tariffs could significantly harm the economy, contradicting his claims of benefiting American workers. The report highlights that while Trump aims to make foreign entities pay, it would ultimately be American citizens who bear the brunt of these policies. The analysis also raises concerns about potential encroachments on the Federal Reserve's independence, which could further complicate economic stability. The BBC shares insights from Snow Patrol's lead singer Gary Lightbody, who expressed deep concerns regarding the dire state of arts funding in Northern Ireland. During a meeting with Minister for Communities Gordon Lyons, Lightbody emphasized the need for increased investment in the arts, pointing out that the current budget is insufficient compared to that of the Republic of Ireland. He stressed the importance of supporting the next generation of artists to prevent talent from falling through the cracks. Lyons acknowledged the meeting's constructive nature and expressed a commitment to advocating for more substantial funding, recognizing the arts' significant impact on society, health, and the economy. <laughs> Financial Times highlights a fascinating experiment conducted by Victor Hagani and James White to test the theory proposed by Nassim Nicholas Taleb 
which suggests that even with foreknowledge of stock market movements, investors would struggle to turn a profit. In their study, 118 finance train participants were given a day's advance notice of market moving news but still managed a meager average return of just 3.2%, with nearly half losing money. The findings reveal that poor decision making, particularly in leveraging bets, led to disappointing results, echoing Taleb's assertion that knowledge alone does not guarantee success in investing. Deutsche Welle discusses the potential return of Formula One racing to Africa, specifically to the Kailami racetrack in South Africa, which has not hosted a race since 1993. With support from prominent figures like Lewis Hamilton, the conversation around reviving the sport has gained momentum. However, significant financial hurdles remain, including the high costs associated with hosting an F1 event. Experts emphasize that beyond the financial aspects, there are deeper societal implications at play, such as changing perceptions of Africa and creating opportunities for diverse communities in the motorsport industry, especially in terms of education and skill development. According to the Associated Press, the number of Americans filing for unemployment benefits has dropped to its lowest level in four months, signaling a resilient labor market amidst rising interest rates. The Labor Department reported a decrease in jobless claims to 218,000, demonstrating a slight easing in layoffs. Despite this positive news, the Federal Reserve has responded to signs of a cooling job market by cutting interest rates for the first time in four years, aiming to maintain economic stability without triggering a recession. The overall trend indicates that while job growth has slowed, the labor market remains relatively healthy, with inflation appearing to be under control. Associated Press reports that the U.S. economy has shown robust growth, expanding at a solid annual rate of 3% from April to June, buoyed by strong consumer spending and business investment. The Commerce Department confirmed that the nation's gross domestic product, GDP, growth surged from a modest 1.6% in the first quarter. Consumer spending, a key economic driver, rose at a pace of 2.8%, while business investment soared by 8.3% led by a notable 9.8% increase in equipment investment. Despite the Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hikes aimed at combating inflation, which peaked at 9.1% in mid-2022 and has since dropped to 2.5%, the economy has demonstrated resilience. However, the job market has shown signs of weakness, with an average of just 116,000 jobs added monthly from June to August, the lowest since mid-2020. In response to the sluggish job market, the Fed cut its benchmark interest rate for the first time in over four years. Consumer sentiment has improved, reflecting a more favorable perception of prices for essential goods, although many Americans still grapple with high costs for necessities like groceries and gas. BBC highlights a significant £10 billion investment in a new artificial intelligence data center in Blythe, Northumberland, which is expected to create around 4,000 jobs. This development marks the site as one of Europe's largest AI data centers and comes after the collapse of British Vault, which had intended to build an electric car battery factory there. Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer hailed this investment as a huge vote of confidence in the UK, signaling the nation's return as a major player on the global stage. The project, initially revealed in April, will not only generate approximately 1,200 construction jobs but also create 2,700 related positions. Construction is set to begin next year, with Blackstone's commitment to invest £110 million in skills training and transport infrastructure for the region, further emphasizing the project's potential impact on the local economy and the broader AI revolution in the UK. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.